Apple dropped iOS 26.1 Monday, November the 3rd, and it's packed with four game-changing features you'll actually use every day. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what they are and why these must be the most exciting features Apple's released in a very long time. Let's get on with the first one, which is Liquid Glass is finally unlocked in this update, and it looks so satisfying. Now you can adjust transparency or frost level of your iPhone. Let's go into settings, go down to display and brightness, and now we get this new clear feature. Clear, or we can do a frosted, which is the tenant. And so this is, this is what the clear looks like. And then if we toggle on tenant or frosted, however you want to say it, then this is how it looks. But this is in dark mode. And then if we go into light mode, this is the tenant option. And here is the clear option. That's the clear option on light mode. So which one do you prefer? I actually like the dark mode. That's what I like. That's how I like it. So now this next feature in iOS 26.1 uh, actually solves a real problem. And it's something we thought Apple would never give us. And that is a lock screen feature, which we always swipe to get the camera going this way. But now we have, we actually get a camera toggle, which if we go into camera, and scroll all the way down to the bottom, we get this lock screen swipe to open camera. If we turn that off, now we don't have to worry about, you know, that camera feature that keeps opening in your pocket. Well, now we can finally turn that off. And it stops accidental camera launches on the lock screen, helps you save battery, and prevents random photos. Now, this next feature will literally change how you wake up in the morning. So we have that now slide to stop for alarms, which is the new feature. So you can wake up for real. So half asleep, tap and stop is now over. Now you have to slide to stop your alarm so you're not running late. So how do we do that? We go into accessibility and we go down to touch and we scroll all the way to the bottom and you see this preferred single touch actions. We've by default, it's turned on uh, once you do the update. So we're going to set this alarm for 253. And I like it. I set it for every day. And I use, I like the unfold sound and my snooze. And you can actually hit your snooze duration, which you do that when you set it up. And then uh, we're going to lock our screen and wait for it to go off. So this is how it looks with the actual toggle turned on. And now if we turn it off, now if we go back and we actually turn this toggle off. Now when we go back, we're going to change this to 255. And we're going to wait. And so you can see what it looks like when it's turned off. We actually get that slide to stop for alarms, for any one of your alarms, as long as that toggle is turned off. All right, so it adds that slide, that slide gesture to stop for alarms or timers. And so it prevents accidental dismissals when you wake up instead of having both of those different buttons so we can hit stop. So now for the next feature, once you're waking up from snoozing or using your alarm or setting a timer, Apple even made your calls feel better by giving you a, the call haptic feedback toggle. So if we go into and we go to phone and we go to settings, we scroll down. By default, haptics is turned on. So if I get a phone call, it'll vibrate. I'm getting a vibration right now. Now, if I decide I don't want the haptics or the vibration, when I get a phone call, I don't feel any vibration now. I just hear the ringtone with this feature, the haptics turned off. So that was four useful features you'll actually use daily to make your iPhone better that Apple didn't mention was even coming. 
So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like. If you're new to Mr. Noble TV, smash that subscribe. And don't forget to hit the hype button. And I'll see you in the next iOS update. Peace.